Hello and welcome to Quick Tips 11. And uh, I had a question, in fact, a program uh, sent to me by a Gold Pass member. And he asked, uh, let me just explain, the program draws one line uh, using a one statement and then it draws some more lines through an event attached to a label. And I'll look at the program in a moment. But what he wanted to know was when he clicks the draw line, the lines appear for an instant or for a few seconds and then at least by the next bar the lines disappear so we're just going to show how you uh, how you stop that happening so let's look at the program i'll just quickly go through the program the first part of it uh, during the uh, initial initialized component which happens when the program first starts what he's doing is creating a label which we're just placing a particular position using an xy point on the chart and part of that is an event which uh, occurs when we click the label and in that event what we do is we create two horizontal lines say one at the high of the last uh, high the last five bars and one at the low the low of the last five bars and then we add those to the chart the other thing we do we add a line once and i've just set that at a specific position you can see there we add that to the chart and again if we just go back to the chart you can see the line added using the one statement here and that remains on the chart come what may but the ones that we uh, create using the click event uh, eventually a few seconds or when at least when we get a new bar they disappear and the reason for that is that with these uh, drawing objects the default property of the or rather the p default persist property for a horizontal line is false. So what we're going to do is change it to true so that these will persist. I'm just going to re re-verify the program and having done that, we're just going to go back to the chart. And now if we click the draw a line, you'll see that those lines appear and if we just wait a few seconds, you'll see that they don't disappear. Now, you, you may be wondering why the persist property is not always set to true, why it's set to false. Well, to, to demonstrate that, what I'm going to do is just create another program. So what we're going to do is just get rid of the the one statement, or at least um, just going to comment that out. And incidentally, this program is below the video for you to uh, copy and paste and uh, experiment with. So I'm just going to put some some curly brackets around this statement here, like so. And uh, I'm just going to uncomment another part of the program. And what we're going to do on this, on the last bar of the chart, we're going to draw a line, a horizontal line, at the close. And at the moment, I've got the persist persist to set to true. So let's just see what happens when we run this. Okay, go to the chart. And you'll see what's happening is that each tick, effectively, we're getting a new horizontal line drawn. And if we sit here and watch the chart, we'll gradually see that the chart will fill up with uh, horizontal lines because we're getting a new one every tick, every, effectively, the close uh, even though it's within a bar, we're getting a new one because we've got this thing set to persist. So what the default is, is to have that set to false. So if we just go and change that to false and verify the program, we should see the line moving as the, uh, as the price ticks in a particular bar and then staying in the position of the last um, tick of the bar when the bar closes and then starting a new a new line at the close of the new bar so you can see that that's moving as the as the price moves this is 20 tick bar incidentally so if we just wait uh, for a few ticks okay we can now see the line has been drawn and now a new line is being drawn at the uh, the close of the new bar as that varies tick by tick and you'll gradually see that we get a new line per bar but we don't get a new line per tick Okay, hopefully you'll find this useful. Uh, I will include the code below the, the, uh, the video so that you can copy and paste.